Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're talking about a topic that's super important for your health, insulin resistance. Now, insulin resistance is a condition where your body doesn't respond to insulin as well as it should, which can lead to high blood sugar and increase your risk of serious health problems like type 2 diabetes. But the good news is, there are things you can do to improve your insulin sensitivity naturally, and one of the most powerful is through your diet. In this video, I'm going to share with you the five best foods to incorporate into your diet to help reverse insulin resistance and get your health back on track. So, if you're ready to take control of your health and feel your best, keep watching. You need to watch this if you struggle with insulin resistance. First up, we have fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, and sardines. These fish are not only delicious but also packed with nutrients that are essential for our health. These fish are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids which have been shown to improve insulin sensitivity. Omega-3s are a type of polyunsaturated fat that our bodies cannot produce on their own, making it crucial to get them from our diet. Think of your cells like little houses, and insulin is like the key that unlocks the door to let glucose in. This process is vital for maintaining healthy blood sugar levels, but when you have insulin resistance, it's like the lock is rusty and the key doesn't work as well. This can lead to higher blood sugar levels and eventually type 2 diabetes if not managed properly. Omega-3 fatty acids act like oil for the lock, helping the key turn smoothly and improving insulin sensitivity. They help reduce inflammation and improve the function of the cell membranes. Studies have shown that people who regularly consume omega-3 fatty acids have better blood sugar control and a lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. This is because omega-3s help the body use insulin more effectively. In fact, one study found that supplementing with omega-3s for just 8 weeks significantly improved insulin sensitivity in people with prediabetes. This highlights the potential of omega-3s in preventing the progression to diabetes. So, how much fatty fish should you be eating? Experts recommend incorporating fatty fish into your diet regularly. Aim for at least two servings per week to reap the benefits. This can be easily achieved by including fish in your meal planning. You can grill it, bake it, or even add it to salads and sandwiches. The versatility of fatty fish makes it easy to include in a variety of dishes, ensuring you never get bored of eating healthy. Next, we have leafy greens like spinach, kale, collard greens, and Swiss chard. These nutritional powerhouses are low in calories and carbohydrates, but packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals that are essential for overall health and blood sugar control. Leafy greens are incredibly versatile and can be incorporated into a variety of dishes making them an easy addition to your daily meals. Fiber is particularly important when it comes to insulin resistance because it slows down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream, preventing those blood sugar spikes that can wreak havoc on your insulin sensitivity. Including high fiber foods in your diet can help maintain steady blood sugar levels throughout the day. Leafy greens are also a good source of magnesium, a mineral that plays a crucial role in regulating blood sugar levels. Magnesium helps improve insulin sensitivity, which is essential for managing diabetes and maintaining overall metabolic health. Studies have shown that people with higher magnesium intakes tend to have better insulin sensitivity and a lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. This makes magnesium-rich foods like leafy greens an important part of a balanced diet. Aim to include a serving or two of leafy greens in your diet every day. Consistent consumption of these greens can contribute to long-term health benefits and better blood sugar management. You can add them to smoothies, salads, soups, stews, or simply saute them as a side dish. The possibilities are endless, and incorporating leafy greens into your meals can be both delicious and beneficial for your health. Berries like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries are not only delicious but also incredibly good for you, especially when it comes to fighting insulin resistance. These little fruits are packed with antioxidants, which help protect your cells from damage caused by free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can damage cells and contribute to inflammation, and chronic inflammation is a major driver of insulin resistance. Berries are particularly high in a type of antioxidant called anthocyanins, which have been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. One study found that consuming just one cup of blueberries per day significantly improved insulin sensitivity in people with insulin resistance. So make berries your go-to snack or add them to your breakfast, yogurt, or desserts. Let's talk about whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, and oats. These grains are not only delicious but also incredibly beneficial for your health. And let's not forget about whole wheat bread. 
Unlike refined grains that have been stripped of their nutrients, whole grains contain the entire grain kernel, including the bran, germ, and endosperm, which are all packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals. The fiber in whole grains helps slow down the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates, which prevents those rapid spikes in blood sugar levels that can contribute to insulin resistance. Moreover, whole grains have a lower glycemic index compared to refined grains. The glycemic index is a measure of how quickly a food raises your blood sugar level. Foods with a lower glycemic index are digested and absorbed more slowly, leading to a more gradual rise in blood sugar and improved insulin sensitivity. So, swap out those refined grains with their whole grain counterparts and watch your blood sugar levels and insulin sensitivity improve. By incorporating whole grains into your diet, you not only stabilize your blood sugar, but also benefit from a range of essential nutrients that support overall health. Whole grains are a simple yet powerful way to enhance your diet and well-being. Last but not least, we have nuts and seeds like almonds, walnuts, chia seeds, and flax seeds. These nutritional powerhouses are packed with healthy fats, fiber, and protein, all of which contribute to better blood sugar control and improved insulin sensitivity. The healthy fats in nuts and seeds, such as monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, have been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce the risk of heart disease. Fiber, as we've discussed, slows down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream, preventing those blood sugar spikes that can worsen insulin resistance. And protein helps you feel full and satisfied after eating, which can prevent overeating and keep your blood sugar levels stable. So make nuts and seeds your go-to snack, sprinkle them on your salads, or add them to your smoothies for an extra boost of nutrition and blood sugar control. So there you have it, the five best foods to help reverse insulin resistance and improve your overall health. Remember, making small sustainable changes to your diet can have a big impact on your health in the long run. Incorporating these foods into your diet can help improve your insulin sensitivity, regulate your blood sugar levels, and reduce your risk of developing serious health problems like type 2 diabetes. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know which of these foods you're excited to try. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more health and wellness tips. Until next time, stay healthy.